Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today we're going to do a very interesting thing. Means we're going to protect our sheet with a password. So many of you would think, why do we need to do this if we already have a Google account that is protected by password? It's just an extra layer of security that may help in some cases. And for me, it's a fun way of trying uh, different functionalities of Google Script. So I'm just going to show you how it works. Here, I'm going to reload the, the file. And once it opens, sometimes it takes a couple of seconds. Sorry, it's in Spanish, but don't worry. It's just for this example. Here, a pop-up shows entering your password. And if you enter the incorrect password, then it will ask again, and it will ask again, and it will ask again until you are tired, okay? And it will never let you enter the file unless you write the correct password okay correct password enjoy the file and then you can edit it and the next time close it and open it again it will ask you again for the password but the nice thing we do at the end is that for the administrator you can leave the password also with to the administrator that is the one who will define the password so i'm going to show you from scratch how do we define the password how do we change it all of that but you could decide if you also want the administrator, this is the owner of the file, the one that created it, if you want to be asked for the password or not. In this case, if I reload it, it does not ask for the password to me. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I know you love it, but before we begin, let me invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel or even further go to the Patreon page where you can have a look at the templates, early access to the videos, and you can ask me in more detail things about the videos and the templates. Okay, thank you to all my Patreons, you are the best. So let's begin. There are a couple of ways we could do this. Actually, there may be a lot of ways of doing it. I'm going to try to start with the easiest one. And then from there, you can ask me, maybe we could do some future videos. But first, let's try to find the reason why you would want to uh, protect your file with a password, because when someone asks me this, I say, but I don't understand why, because you have different accounts. If you are the only one that has access to that account, why would you want to have a password if you already have the password of your account? But sometimes for any number of reasons, may a couple of people in, in an organization may share the same account. For example, Ideal and Sheets, Google makes it easy for, to create new accounts, but it may be the case or you just want to have control of your file. You don't want to share it with anyone. If anyone in your organization wants to look at it, it has to be in your account and with your password. So you want to give an extra layer of security. This is one of the reasons. So this first attempt we're going to do is with just one master password. Then we could do one where you have some users and where you have some passwords. But for now, only one password that only you as the administrator can change. So we can do this only via Google Script. Let's go to JavaScript. We are going to create a function called protecting by password. And how are we going to do it? We need to ask a password. How do we ask a password? With some sort of pop-up that we could give for looking for pop-ups. And this may be, I, I think we could explore these kind of alerts and, and sidebars and everything in another video. But to do pop-ups or any other interface object, we need to go to the UI. How do we access the UI? We just stretch it up dot get UI as easy as that. Okay, this is the user interface. So here we can access the menus, here we can access the sidebars, here we can access uh, the pop-ups in just a limited way. There's not a lot we can do, but there is enough. So we're going to store this in a variable called UI. And then from UI, we could do a lot of things. Let's hit dot. And here we could see one of the things we could do. We could do alerts, we could do menus, we could do prompts, and we could do uh, sidebars and models. So what is the difference? Again, this is subject of another video, so I'm going to go very quick. Alert is that it just tells you something, it doesn't let you input anything. It just say, this is an error, be careful, uh, or give you a message. That's it. And you can say, okay, or not okay. And with this button and button set, you can change the, the buttons you have. Only yes, yes or no, yes, no, cancel, whatever. Okay, the menus, we've explored this in other videos, but it's just to create a menu here. 
you can create add new menus and new sub menus. You cannot change these menus, but you can add new ones and customize it. However, uh, with a lot of things, separators, sub menus, emojis, etc. Here, there are two that I'm interested in the modal and modeless dialog. Well, the, the sidebar is the bar that appears when you do a conditional formatting, a valid data validation, a protection, all of, uh, all of that. This is a sidebar and you can create your own also. Again, this is topic for another video. The prompt is very nice. And this is the one we're going to use today because it's a very simple box that lets you input something. That's it. The evolution of the prompt is called a modal or a modeless dialog. Yes. The difference, they're very, very similar in the sense that you give some HTML code and they can give much more complex formularies and the boxes to input your data. The difference is that when you, the prompt has a very nice thing, I'm going to show you. Let's do a very simple prompt. How are you today? Okay, we're just going to save and we're going to run and it always will ask us the first time for some permissions. When we run it from our Google Apps Script Editor. So it continued running. Why? Why? Because if I go here, you can see that now I have this question, how are you today? And a space to answer. The nice thing about this is that if you try to click on your sheet, you cannot do it. This is really nice until you answer this. So this gives you a very nice canvas on which to build our password system. When you do model, that we're go I'm going to stop this. When you do, instead of prompt, you do modeless dialog. This is the same box. It's an HTML box. It's a bit more complex because you need to create an HTML file or even write a couple of lines of HTML directly here. But if you want to use variables and all that, it gets a bit more tricky because it's almost like a mini web app. You need to communicate with JavaScript. So it gets a bit more complex. But the thing about Modless is that here it puts the box on top, but you could edit. It's like you have to, in the same layer, the pop-up and your sheet. However, the modal, the modal dialog, it works very similar to this so that it does not let us edit the sheet. Okay, just a bit of parenthesis there. But just to tell you that we're going to use the prompt. Okay, and you would say, perfect. But what happens when I write something here? Good. How do my code knows what did I wrote? So here there are two possible properties we can get or functions we can get from prompt or methods better yet. One is the response text. That is what the user answered. And the other one is the button is which button did the user click? So get response text is what we need. So we're going to call this attempt or try. Yeah, this is the attempt there. Now let's not call this. How are you today? But let's call this enter your password. So let's save it and let's run again. So here, enter your password. If I enter anything, it doesn't work. So it lets me enter the password, but it's not doing anything with it. So I need to do something with this attempt. So the easiest way is to create here a variable that is called a correct answer or password or whatever. And let's say our password is whatever. Okay. So what I need to do is to, if I don't hit, if I don't write whatever, then I need to continue deploying my prompt. This is what is called a, a while loop. So we're going to create a while loop with a condition. The condition for this while loop is that attempt should be different than correct answer. If the attempt is different than the correct answer, then we're going to put this. However, this won't work because if I define, if I initialize this variable attempt here, then attempt won't exist here. So it's like a mistake. You know, attempt is not defined. So I need to define attempt or declare attempt here. And for now we could give whatever empty so that this is true the first time. And then I can remove this at let. So I'm just going to assign 
to the variable attempt, whatever the user writes. And until the answer is whatever, then it will continue asking and asking and asking to infinity and beyond. Okay, let's see. So let's play it. Let's go here and let's write something. Uh, hi. So let's click OK. And given that this condition still is true, attempt is different from correct answer, then it will continue to ask. And if I say here, no, again. So this is a very good, a very nice first attempt. I've tried this multiple times and it works really, really good. So remember what was the, the password? Whatever. So let's write whatever. Okay. And it lets me. Maybe you could even go further and here do another uh, UI, but not prompt, but alert. And say correct, correct password. Enjoy your, f enjoy, enjoy the file. I don't know. Whatever. Save. Let's run it again. So the user knows that this was the right password. Again, let's write anything here. Doesn't work. And if I say whatever, correct password, enjoy the file, I hit OK, and I could use it. Well, the thing is that I haven't active, I haven't told the program that it should call this every time the sheet is opened. So we could do this with a simple unopen function. So the unopen function, I will just call protect thy password and that's it. Let's save. I haven't given this project a name protect thy password. Now we're going to reload this. And there it is. There is one big problem with this. Well, not big. It can be solved. Is that if you forget for any reason your password, it's a bit difficult well it's not impossible i will teach you how but it's it's a bit more difficult to enter even you if you are the administrator okay so be careful with that i'm going to show you how so whatever okay correct password enjoy the file i'm going to share it with someone just to try it out and see that it works with other people that i share it with also in one second i will bring it from this other user so this is the user that I shared it with. And here it is. Sometimes it lasts. This is one of the problems that depending on your internet or on all that, it may last a bit. So in a couple of seconds, the user could in theory be able to do something. I'm not, I don't think so, but just to let you know that it's not immediate. And it, he would have to give the exact password. Okay, so now let's do a couple of final things. The first thing is that what happens if I lose the password? So if you lose the password, you will need to go to script.google.com to access the script without having to enter the sheet. So here, this is why it's important to put a name to the project, protect by password. So we're going to enter and then we don't need to enter this through the sheet. Okay. And here you can see the password. Okay. There are two other things we could do. The first, thing is that we could have this password stored in another sheet but i don't recommend this too much because once we do this this unopen won't work we will need to do it another way so it's not the best there's another thing i suggest you to do is that you don't need a password because if you are the administrator maybe you do maybe the the first case i told you that you you just want it in your name but you have a couple of people using it in your account then well by and by all means please have the password don't lo don't lose it and if you lose it you i just told you how to recover it okay the other way is that i'm going to uh, create a variable called actually a constant that is called a uh, administrator or admin email and the admin email in my case is practical i'm not sure if i'm dot sheets or just sheets I forget dot practical dot sheets. So this is the admin email. And what I'm going to do is all of this, I'm just going to do it if the email of the current user 
it's not practicalsheets at gmail.com. How do we do this? There are a couple of ways of doing it. I'm going to go to session dot get active user. Use this parenthesis dot get email. And this is the user email. This is a variable. Let user email equals to this. You have to be careful. I think I will, I will have talked about this in other videos. You need to be careful about this because this is not that it gives you the, the email of the person, not always, but when it's personal email, when it's not the administrator and I enter with jsbuzman at gmail.com, then this will come empty. This is important because what we're going to say is that the important thing is that admin email is equal to user email. In the case that user e that the user email is the admin email that it will always bring my email, then you don't do this. Okay. So only do it if this is different, if this admin email is different from this user email. So if admin email different from user email, then do all of this. If not, you don't need to do anything. Okay, so let's save this. We're going to reload this. Remember, this is the administrator. Let's see if it asks us or not. So it does not ask us. So you, the administrator, again, this is an, a possibility you have. You don't need to put to input the password. But now, let, now let's go to the other user that is not the admin. I'm going to reload. And here it is, it is asking. OK, so that's it. Again, as I told you at the beginning of the video, then we could expand this, maybe have users have passwords, but this will make it a bit more complex. This is the easiest way, and I think it works nice. So it's just another layer of protection. I show you in one of the latter videos how to protect. This is some other layers of protection. You can create some ideas to protect, to further protect your sheet using Google Apps Script. I hope you liked it. And if you liked it, I hope you consider subscribing to the channel or even further subscribing to my Patreon page where you can download these and more than 70 templates and you can ask me anything and you can have the videos earlier than anyone else. Thanks. A thousand thanks to all of my Patreons. This is, you can imagine how much I am grateful for your support. Thank you and see you next time.